Once you've built the workflow of a marketing campaign, including all of its email templates, decision stages, and action steps, you'll be ready to send it out to your subscribers. So in this video, I want to show you how to activate a campaign in ACT Marketing Automation. I've logged into my ACT database, and I've clicked Marketing Automation in the left navigation, and from here I've gone to the Campaigns area. Now if I scroll down, we'll look at the campaign I've been working with. It's my Welcome New Customers campaign. When I click that, ACT Marketing Automation shows me the current workflow. Here I could look at all of my stages and review it if I need to make any changes, but I'm pretty happy with it the way it is now, so it's ready to activate. To do this, I'll go to my Actions menu on the right and click Activate. Now immediately when I do this, ACT Marketing Automation is going to examine each of the steps in my campaign to make sure that everything complies with the required policies for sending marketing emails. If the Activate Campaign button here is grayed out, that means that there are some things that we need to fix before this campaign can be activated. Let's scroll down on this list to find the problems that we have. Items marked with green check marks are good, but any items that you see with the big red X, these have failed the examination. In most cases, you only really need to fix three simple items, and I've purposely caused them all to fail so that I can show you how to fix them. And they all take place in my welcome email. This is the first email in my workflow. The first problem that presents itself is my subject line is the default subject line. And so we advise you to change that before sending it out. To fix the subject line, that's real easy to do. I'm just going to click the edit email link. This takes me to the email where the problem is. And you can see the subject line here still says new email series. That's what we put in there by default, and we don't want that. So let's go to Actions and click Properties. And then we'll locate the subject line, and we'll change it from New Email Series to Welcome to Cloudwalker. Now if you need some help writing subject lines, hover over this little Information button, and then click this link, which will help you give some ideas on good subject lines. But I've changed mine, so I'm going to click Update. Okay, now we can see that the new subject line, Welcome to Cloudwalker, is present. So, I'm going to go to my Actions menu and then click Return to go back to the activation screen. Now we can see I still have some problems with this email, but it does tell me that the subject line is good. So let's look at the next problem. It says, Warning, you do not have a merge field for a company address. To explain this, in each email that you send, you must include your company's address exactly as it appears on your account. The only way to do this is to include a merge field for your address inside the email template. Let's go fix that now. I'm going to click Edit Email, and then it doesn't matter where in your email you put it, but it's a good idea to put it at the bottom. So I'm going to click this text content item, and beneath my company name, I'm going to add my company address. So I'll hit Enter on my keyboard to create a new line, and then I'll click the Merge Tags button, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says Your Company Address, because I want this email to include my company address. So I'll click that, and now we have a nice merge field here that says Your Company Address. Okay, don't forget to scroll to the top and click Save, and then once again we'll go to Actions and Return to go back to the Activate screen. Okay, we have one more problem remaining with this welcome email, and it says, warning, you do not have an unsubscribe merge field. Remember that each of your email templates must include an unsubscribe link so that your customers have a way to opt out if they don't want these emails. An unsubscribe link is very easy to add, so let's click the edit email link one more time, and this takes us back to our template. I'm going to add my unsubscribe link right underneath my company address. So once again, I'll click that area and hit enter on my keyboard. And now I want to go into the special links area, unsubscribe, and then click here to unsubscribe. You can change this text if you want, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And again, I'll click save. And then we'll go to actions, return, to go back to the activate screen. Okay, now we have a green check mark for this email step and all of the other steps within the workflow. So my Activate Campaign button is now clickable. If you'd like to review the details of this campaign before sending it, those are above. So my campaign name is Welcome New Customers. It's still in draft form. The initial send is going to be on May 5th. 
I don't have any synchronization set up, but we'll talk about that in a future video. It's coming from this email, from this person, and it's going to my Gmail group inside ACT. And I don't have any exclude lists in this campaign yet. So if I'm happy with all that, which I am, I'm going to click Activate Campaign. This takes me back to my workflow, where it shows me this campaign is now active, and the first email will go out on May 5th at 10.35 a.m. In the next group of videos, we're going to look at things you can do with a campaign after it has been activated.